The British are really good at complaining about kind of average weather. It's currently roughly 22 degrees at half past eight, which means it's going to be a stuffy night to say the least. But what does that mean? And is there a reason that people get so lazy when it's warm? I mean, I'm recording at half past nine, goddammit. I have a whole day to do this. Why am I doing it when it's at its coolest? And why do people not really want to function? when it's too hot outside. The core temperature of a human is 37 degrees Celsius. That is the temperature that sort of your very internals are at. To figure out why we're tired when we're hot, let's talk about what happens when the human body is cold. You see, the core temperature is 37 degrees and dropping even a degree lower to 36 can be extremely dangerous. You see, hypothermia tends to set in at roughly 35 degrees Celsius, or at least when your core hits that temperature, which requires usually extreme cold. It has symptoms such as shivering, increased heart rate and in extreme situations bad decision making what kind of bad decisions things like you know deciding that maybe you should take off all your clothes because that'll warm you up you see the reason you shiver is because your body is trying to force yourself into movement the idea being that moving generates heat and heat will warm up your core temperature it's the same with the heart rate the faster your heart beats the more blood is being pumped around your body and the more your body is working to try and keep you warm this negative feedback loop or reaction to whatever stimuli occurs is designed to keep you at close to 37 degrees as possible there's an issue though, because as well as going under, it could go over. Hyperthermia, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. When your body gets too hot, you start to sweat, you feel tired, and it might sound familiar to another thing called a fever, which is how it's commonly referred to when you're feeling unwell. You just feel really lazy, you're tired all the time, you want to sleep to try and get better, and it's common when you're ill, and when you're in hot places. The idea here is your body wants to do the exact opposite. It wants to try and slow you down and tell you to just stop. The idea is the less you move, the less heat you generate, and the less likely your core temperature is to go up. Meaning, when the weather outside is 30-ish degrees Celsius, your body goes, actually, George, you shouldn't be doing that. Please just calm the hell down. By not doing anything, you're increasing your chances of survival, technically, when you really think about it. I mean, how likely is it that you'll suffer from hypothermia in central London because it's a slightly warm day? As long as you're well hydrated, it's fairly low, but it's your body's response to making sure you survive as best as possible. And the best way to handle it is one of two ways. Get plenty of water down you and preferably stay somewhere cooler. Either way, you now know why you feel so tired during a hot summer's day, and you kind of have an excuse at work now. Just don't blame me. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This one's different to usual. Click up here to see the previous video, which is really fun. On the other hand, what you could do is click up here to see a random video that could be absolutely anything I've filmed in the last eight-ish months that Snappy Tech has become a real kind of YouTube channel instead of a website it once was. Make sure to hit subscribe to see more videos like this one and I'll see you guys next time.